It's all about humanity. Yo, what is good gamers? Peter here with Mooseman Games, and in today's War Robots video, we're gonna be playing some team deathmatch, and also I wanna open a little discussion with you guys about whether or not you think it is still a good idea to be chasing the meta in this game. So I'm gonna share my thoughts on this, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of thoughts of your own, so let's open up a discussion about this in the comments. I'm curious to see your different kind of points of view on this one. Um, if you're not sure what I mean, by the way, chasing the meta just means, you know, trying to uh, constantly keep up with and, and obtain the latest and greatest equipment that comes out in the game. Alright, so the current meta I would say is the uh, sound weapons, though they have been out for a little bit, so I'm expecting something else to take their place soon, knowing the way uh, Pixonic works, and we still have, uh, you know, I would say Hawk, Demeter, uh, as the current kind of meta bots. Demeter's still quite new, uh, we haven't seen too many of those. Shell is more of a fun bot, I would say Hawk was probably the, and, and Typhon are the more recent kind of meta bots. Anyways. Um, yeah, the point I want to make in this game is that I am no longer going to be chasing the meta and uh, slightly inspired actually by my boy Ghost, who uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know I'm talking about, but he uh, recently just sold off all of his weapons, I believe from the cryo uh, period onwards, I believe he sold all those weapons and basically is just using the resources to uh, keep things simple, back to basics when it comes to his weapons and just um, level up and make the basic gear that you have as powerful as possible. And um, I think that's quite an interesting and, and quite a good idea. We'll discuss this in a bit. I'll run you through my hanger choices at the moment and then we'll discuss this further during some gameplay so we have something to watch while we talk. All right, so um, first and foremost, we have the Ravana or the Ravana. Now, this was a great build with the Cryos. However, uh, since the Cryos got nerfed, this build kind of sucks. Um, the Cryos just, they just suck now compared to other things. They just don't do enough damage at all. So, uh, but I don't have any other options. So if you guys have any recommendations for uh, setups for the, uh, sorry, for the Ravana, let me know. Don't say Havocs because I don't have any Havocs. And like I said, I'm not gonna be chasing the meta. I'm not gonna be trying to acquire some at any point. So um, old school weapons, let me know. We've got two Scourges. We've got some bits here and there, but no great options that I can see for the Ravana. So we're not going to be upgrading these cryos because unless they get a heavy buff in the near future, but those are going to be staying as it is. Um, these atomizers or these electric machine guns, they have just taken a nerf. They will probably take some more nerfs in future. However, I am going to stick with them. Uh, I'm not going to be getting any new gear, but this is the latest stuff that I spent my silver upgrading and I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'm just going to try and hang on to this gear that we have here. So I will continue to upgrade these electro machine guns. Pulsars, great, I am going to stick to these, they're still working great. Um, love this build to be honest, I'm going to be continuing to upgrade my Pulsars over time and also trying to get one more to replace that Freedom Missile. Great weapon, very effective at kind of long medium range. Um, this build, again, same as the Fenrir build, I'm going to keep upgrading these Electro Machine Gun weapons, regardless of if they've been nerfed. This one's an interesting one. Uh, the flames, I think, are still pretty decent. However, the Sinister Rhymes, same deal with the Cryo Rockets. They have, they just don't um, do the damage that you need them to do since they were nerfed. Um, I don't have a replacement for them at the moment, though. So, again, if you guys got any options, the Halo still kind of sucks, so we're not going to use those. Uh, sparks are still quite a viable option, but as you can see, I've only got two at, like, half level, so I do need to level these up. Might consider Sparks... Uh, I think I would need to get one more spark and then level them up a bit. Let me know what you think in the comments. Alright, that's my kind of setup for the moment. I won't be chasing any more meta and I won't be upgrading any more new gear um, that I can see anyway because it's just a waste. It's just a waste, guys. Let's jump into TDM and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay, here we are getting into a game here. So, uh, TDM, I like to start off somewhere at the back with my leech and just kind of try and pick off enemies from a distance. All right, so here's the reason I'm not gonna be chasing the meta anymore. Uh, the reason being because in my experience, guys, and I'm sure many of you guys have the same experience as well, 
uh, you save up a lot of um, resources, you know, you spend a long time grinding out resources. You get lucky sometimes, you win a competition or, you know, you get lucky with one of the event chests and you manage to land one of the latest and greatest bits of gear. And uh, you spend all your resources, you dump all your resources, all your silver and stuff into upgrading that gear, getting it as good as possible. Um, and if you're like me, you know, you're a free-to-play player, you do have a life outside of the game as well. You can't spend every waking minute playing the game, so it takes you a while to grind out enough silver. The silver payout, as we know, is not good enough as it is, so it takes you a long time to grind out the silver that you need to, um, you know, to upgrade your new shiny piece of gear. You dump all your silver there, you spend a while grinding it out, you get your gear up to, for me, it's normally up to like level 9 or level 10, where I can start using them effectively. And um, then what happens? You get to enjoy them for about a week or two, and then they get nerfed to crap, because by the time you have, um, you know, ground out the, the resources to upgrade them, they're already moving on to the next meta, right? They're already old news. That's the deal. Pixonic, they move on too fast with their, with their meta gear, right? They move on too fast. They change meta all the time, which doesn't give people enough opportunity to be able to... to be able to actually... Wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? What are you doing? I'm not sure what happened there. It uh, doesn't give people the opportunity to, um, to actually use their leveled up gear before they nerf it and then move on to the next thing. Why they have to nerf it? We don't know. We do know, actually, but... You know, they, you know, they'll never admit it. Obviously, they're doing it to save, ca uh, to make cash, guys. They're just milking you for all the money. They're not milking me because I ain't paying for it, but they're milking other people. And those people that they're milking are the people that are, you know, dumping a load of money into the game, but also the people that are managing to keep up with the meta. And in my eyes, there's only two people that can keep up with the meta. That is one, people that dump a ton of cash into the game. And two, that is, oh, come on, I just want to target this guy before he gets across the fucking thing. The targeting system still sucks, as you can see there. It's near impossible to actually hit the person you're trying to hit before they run behind cover. But yeah, so um, there's two people that can keep up. One is the people that dump a load of money, so of course they can instantly upgrade. They can get their latest gear instantly and upgrade it. Um, so good for them. If that's how they want to spend their money, no problem. Good for you guys. But that isn't everyone. Um, and the other people are the people who uh, are able to basically spend their entire day, day in, day out, several hours a day playing the game. Again, if that's what you want to do with your life, go for it. Um, but most people, I would say, probably have other things to do. Maybe you've got family. Maybe you have, you know, hobbies outside of playing this game. Maybe you have a full-time job, for example. Um, so not everyone can afford to dump, you know, thousands of dollars into this game or to, um, or to, you know, dump several hours into this game. So where does that leave you? That leaves you in the position that I'm in, the position that a lot of other free-to-play players are in, um, where you just, quite frankly, are never able to keep up with with the new meta, right? Because the people that you go up against, they have all that fancy new gear, they have it all upgraded, so you cannot compete with them. Um, and I know I'm gonna get some people arguing here, yeah, you can, you just need to be a skilled player. Yeah, of course you can, guys. You, there are examples of people who are using very old school weaponry, old school gear, who can still compete with the new gear, and that's, um, but that's a rare occurrence, guys. If you take two people with the same skill level, and they both um, and they both have the same uh, kind of level bots, but you give them you give one player the new meta. I'm just gonna kill myself. And you give the other player the old meta. The new player, the, sorry, the new meta player is always going to win, guys. If their skill levels are the same, the one with the new meta is always going to win, just because those weapons and that gear is just so much better than the old nerfed stuff. I completely just forgotten what I'm talking about. It's really hard to speak and, and try and focus on playing at the same time. I don't think I have a single kill. We're doing terribly. I'm personally doing terribly. <laughs> I like this uh, Natasha, by the way, just camping up here. Got some good stuff going on. Alright, let's see if we can do some damage to you. Or to you. No, that's not what we wanted, is it? Uh, what are we doing? What is going on? No, I'm not sure what's happening here. We're definitely going down. 
Look at the naked shell is such a weird sight, guys. It's like a crab out of a shell. That's what I imagine it would look like, like a robot crab without a shell. Uh, let's jump into this uh, crappy cryo ravener. So anyway, that is my rant. That's why I'm not chasing the meta anymore. There's no point. It's a waste of your time, your resources. I'm gonna say instead, you'll be much better off um, saving your your resources up, the ones that whatever you are able to save um, from the amount that you're able to play, and investing them in actually just getting highly leveled, um, kind of old old equipment, but stuff that is reliable and. Hopefully stuff that is less likely to get nerfed. Because if you're upgrading the new equipment, there's a 100% chance that Pixonic is gonna nerf it in the near future. 100%. You're not gonna get away with it. We've seen it time and time again. Like, when I was kind of new to the game, I was, um, I was always told never chase the meta for this exact reason. However, I always thought, you know what, I got, these, I got this new gear, let's upgrade it, let's get it looking and performing well, and um, you know, maybe it won't get nerfed. That's never the case, guys. It's always nerfed. It's the cycle of Pixonic. It's just how they work now. Okay, they will nerf the crap out of your stuff um, to make way for the overpowered new gear. It's just how they do it. It's just how they do it now. And uh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, and I'm not playing along anymore. And I know some of you guys are going to agree with me, and some of you guys are going to disagree, and that is fine. That's why I want to have a conversation about this in the comments. Um, we are doing so badly so far. Um, you're doing really bad. Well, actually, it's 11 11. Okay, so by we, I mean me. I'm personally doing terrible. Uh, I did try and kind of get in there and um, and kind of cause some havoc behind enemy lines just then with my Ravener. Uh oh, uh oh, no, stop this. Who was that? You, no, no, no. Crap. All right, well, this fork is gonna go down again. No. Help me, somebody, oh, okay, oh no, come on, what? What? I had my, I had my stealth thing on. Why was I still getting shot at? That's not cool, man. Okay, so I got both my small weapon slots blown off already. I just suck at using the hawk, man. Like, sometimes I'm good with it, but 90% of the time I just suck. All right, anyone else? I thought that guy was in range, he is not in range, so you, sir, please die. Yes. Just about, just about got him before he took off. Um, all right, let's drop down here and hide behind this corner for the next few seconds. No! Oh, try and counter heal. Man, is that, that's a, what is it? Hydras are the most annoying weapons. I saw this conversation on uh, Facebook, on the, on the War Robots Facebook group, of people saying how much they love to just target one person with the Hydras and just like, you know, just like really piss off one person. Um, they're like, ha, ah, that'll show those pay to win people. I'm like, how do you know that you're targeting pay to win people? Like, it's me. I, I don't, I try and, you know, the game is stressful enough as it is. And we try and come in and have a, you know, try and have a good time. And then you just have guys <laughs> like that, just nonstop uh, hydraing and just like targeting single people with the Hydra. I don't know guys, but I don't appreciate you. If that's you, you are not appreciated by the moose. Because uh, you're ruining what is already a very difficult to enjoy game at the moment. Alright, let's just... Ugh, thing is with these shields, you can't get through with your electric weapons. We gotta, we gotta try and get through with these, with these machine guns. Come on! No, we are just getting destroyed. There goes our Nodens. Um, all right, I guess I'll spawn in here. Yeah, there's no chance of us winning this match. Th 15 to 19. My, um, I'm upgrading these atomizers at the moment to try and get them to a level, no, nope, okay. Try and get them to, okay, level 10. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just feel this game is, um, not what it used to be, even just a year ago. I'm not even old. I'm not even an old player. I know some of the old players are talking about they miss the days of walking war robots. I'm not even that old. I'm like, I've been playing for just over a year. And I can say that it is not what it used to be. It is just not fun, man. Uh, there's too much going on. There's too much going on, in my opinion. 
and there is uh, no space for free to play players anymore unless you're in that group that has just like eight hours a day to dump into this game. So there's our score anyway, we got 2.1 million top score on our team anyway, three kills. Um, so I'm in Masters now, I've been dropped down to a Masters League from Champions, which seems more appropriate to be honest. And we're paired up with Expert and Masters players. And the enemy, Masters, Masters, Expert, same thing. So matchmaking was not bad, although we did get our butt kicked. Let's go back. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I'm um, sorry if it was a bit complainy, but I actually genuinely just wanna have a discussion about the situation in the game right now. I wanna see what you guys think about uh, the current meta. Um, you know, I've seen other people's videos. There's new things coming out. I think Manny posted a video. There's new rocket launchers coming out. We've got new, other new bots coming out. And um, I'm just done chasing that. There's no time to do that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, if you wanna see, basically speaking of chasing the meta, if you wanna see the opposite of that, then check out my recent Trash Hangers video. It's just like a mini series I do where I, uh, choose basically like the oldest and, and worst gear that I have available to me and I try and compete against uh, some Champions League players with that gear. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, I'll leave it somewhere on the screen somewhere. But yeah, have a great day guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.